الدكتور هتان الخيري Also, we'd like to use this opportunity to award the students who won the best presentations in the clinical informatics class that was held last semester. The first group is uh, female, uh, from the female students, is called Najd Suleiman bin Musaybih. She's the team leader of the group. Second winners is Ms. Fatima Ahmed Abdul Karim. Third winners is Haifa Abdul Karim, is the team leader of Group 3. The males groups, uh, the first winner is uh, Group uh, A1. The team leader is Abdul Muhsin Muhammad Al Jibreen. Second winner is male B10. Group leader is Abdul Aziz Hamad Al Ahmed. Third winner is uh, Group 3. Team leader Abdullah Uthman Turkey. Now we will call the staff of the Medical Informatics and Electronic Learning Unit and show our little appreciation to their hard work with us during the past months. Fatima Al-Alawi. Hiba Rammal. Khulud Al-Ghamidi. Hind Al-Rumaizan. Ustaz Muhammad Al-Khrayji. Ustaz Alayyan Al-Alayyan. Dr. Tamim Al Ghannam. <laughs> Samina Khan. <laughs> Abdullah Al Blui. <laughs> Mr. Rakish Gupta. Mr. Kamran Abdul Razak. <laughs> Mr. Diab Muhammad. <laughs> Mr. Asrar Ansari. <laughs> and Mr. Nihal Khamis. أو عفوا دكتورة نهال خميس and finally سليمان العمران Thank <laughs> you.
Sincere thanks to our special guests, and now it is the end of the official ceremony. We would like to invite all of our guests to the lunch at Dr. Cafe Garden. After lunch, we will have our last lecture for today, which will be delivered by Dr. Ahmed Belkhair, Director of National E-Health Strategy and Change Management at the Ministry of Health. He will talk about e-health strategy in Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. We have reached to the, to the last lecture, which is the fourth one today, will be delivered by Dr. Our distingu distinguished invitees, uh, or distinguished guest, I'm sorry, Dr. Ahmed Belkhair. He's the e-health, uh, the director of National e-health strategy and change management at the Ministry of Health since October 2010. Dr. Ahmed just came back from uh, the United States. He presented at HIMSS conference in Orlando about uh, lessons learned around the globe. Uh, please welcome Dr. Ahmed, who will talk about e-health strategy at the Ministry of Health in Saudi Arabia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, first of all, it's my honor to be with you here today, and I would like to thank the organizing committee for inviting me to be here with you today. Um, uh, first of all, so I am uh, a pediatrician and also a health physician, so from clinical background. That's why you will see maybe most of the the talk will be starting from the business, going into the IT a little bit. And um, it really uh, speak about a journey that really I enjoy uh, to, uh, to have as an experience in my life and in my learning, you know, uh, years. I am working in Ministry of Health over the last 17 years. Um, I have an experience in the IT since maybe 1983, but uh, in my, I was responsible for, uh, for the IT in my hospital. Afterward, also, I was a CIO in the Jeddah Health Affairs for several years, and then I invited to the ministry here to start to develop uh, the e-health uh, strategy. Um, uh, that, that was around four years back. The story started because they would like to have, uh, you know, um, a member from Ministry of Health who work at multiple levels in the business service in the ministry. So it was uh, really a learning, you know, experience for me. Uh, I would try today to share you, share with you uh, during my speech a lot of uh, lessons that I learned during this period. Um, and over the presentation, we will see 
many things that you will experience if you are uh, responsible of any of the um, organizations, any hospital or any place, and then they request from you to build an IT strategy for you in that location. Almost what are the things or the you know the cornerstones that you need to have initially, and what are the steps that you will do? Uh, most. In most of the cases, it will be more or less similar. It will be in a smaller scale. It will, it's a little bit here more complex, but uh, mostly uh, you will see uh, a lot of you know, shared you know, ideas. Uh, Ministry of Health started um, uh, uh, with... I think this one can be useful. How are you doing right? No, this way. Just to find out my direction. Okay. So, um, when our uh, uh, current minister, Dr. Arabia, take his responsibility in the ministry, initially he have a lot of uh, difficulties from the business side. Uh, they try to solve it. They started initially by building, you know, a business strategy for the ministry, and this is a very uh, important point. Uh, when they when they start that uh, development for the strategy for the for the business for the Ministry of Health itself, they were uh, consulting even some of the board uh, international board uh, uh, consultant that uh, ad advisor for the minister. Uh, one of the main objectives that they place on that plan is to have an e-health an e-health uh, sorry uh, an e-health uh, strategy for the ministry and they advise that if you do not build an e-health strategy you will not be implement you know all the electronic systems because they were targeting to have to use uh, health information systems across all organizations which is one of the most difficult you know uh, things to do although it will be a key factor to improve the health services to automate the services to better optimization for the services so uh, so they advise him to reach to that point you have to build up an e-health strategy otherwise the failure rate it will be very high to achieve that uh, that goal so it was one of the main objectives is to do that and then uh, the, the important point is to start initially with, with the business strategy. So if you are in any organization, they, they ask you to build an IT strategy, you cannot do that or you will fail in doing that in the right way if you do not have initially a business strategy for your organization. So that was one of the important learning points in here. Uh, you know, first of all, we have just giving an overall uh, demography. You know, we, we, um, in the kingdom we, we usually we are trying to compare from the IT point of view to uh, to, to Canada. Uh, the, um, in Canada, they have a wide uh, space area in their country, similar to the kingdom. They have an, we have here a, a desert, an empty quarter, and they have the. The, the frozen sections where they have no much people. They have a low density of the population and uh, they are around maybe 30 million, we are 27 million. So they are um, a much of comparison points on, on the main challenges that we are facing. Uh, we have 150 cities and more than 2,000 villages and we are divided into five main zones, or call east, west, north, south and the center. And we, are, we have 13 regions and 20 jurisdictions. Uh, when we when we compare, I miss my way again. Okay, uh, in the distribution of the of the services, sixty percent of the services provided by the ministry, you know, facilities. So sixty percent by Ministry of Health, twenty percent by other. Uh, governmental organizations like military, universities, and the King Faisal Specialist Hospitals, Aramco, and 20% and by private sector. Uh, you know, that taken from the quantitative number of the beds, but it, you know, varies based on the, uh, how, how this bed serving, you know, some critical cases in other facilities. Also, the number of uh, primary care. We have uh, 2,000, I think 300 now, uh, 2,300 facilities are going to reach to 3,000 in the coming few years. And we have at that time, uh, 234 hospitals, and now we reach 200, uh, almost 70 hospitals, going to reach with 370 over the coming few years. So we are uh, having, we, we have now every, uh, almost 20 ho new hospitals every year. So that expansion is to fill g some gaps in the business. 
Uh, so that should be considered you know, in the strategy. At the same time, we have uh, uh, difficulty of the quality of service, of the equity of service. We are not giving the same service in the cities, si similar to what we are doing in the villages and the rural area. And that should be considered because we have to use the technology to serve, to provide uh, to serve the points of providing an equity of service across all organizations. And uh, with all the challenges that we have, it's very difficult, for example, to have a consultant in sub-specialized you know, subject and ask him to go to an area in empty quarter in one of the hospitals there to stay in there for years. So that, that was the challenge that we are having. Uh, Minister of Health have another responsibility related to the preventive medicine and serving the, the pilgrims in Umrah and Hajj. Uh, just I will go to some of the challenges. I will go to some of the challenges that we I am facing. I don't know, sometimes the key is working. Okay. I mentioned all of that. You know, some of the comparison to see we, we, our spend, you know, in the kingdom here uh, for the health services is just about 3.7 of the of the GDP of the kingdom. But in the United States, for example, 17.9. In comparison, you know, uh, just I'm uh, going quickly. If we if you look our, that for our main problems, if the first eight problems that we have here in the kingdom, and compare it. What, what, what is that? Uh, what is the level of this problem in, I mean, United States? You will see that we have some of these problems are almost more or less equal, but there are some problems like, like to, for example, road traffic accident, like you know other you know home injuries or so, and some of like low birth weight. This giving some indicators that we we are sharing the same problems of having uh, surface for the chronic disease as well as for some of the services of the, for the antenatal. These things need to be considered also when we build this strategy. Maybe? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Need to press it more. Uh, initially, when we start to build the e health strategy, we have a lot of meetings with the minister and with his assistant to see where is, what is their vision? What things they would like to do to achieve most of this? Uh, uh, I mean, where do they want the ministry to be after a few years? So they were thinking of uh, having an intramural electronic health record to have the patient information accessible in all points of services and to improve some of the services like patient transformation, tra uh, transferring, I mean, uh, between different organizations and to have uh, the electronic health uh, uh, or uh, electro EMRs in all uh, different organizations and all, I mean, uh, facilities of Ministry of Health. Okay. And during the development of the Ministry of Health uh, uh, business strategy, they came into four main, uh, five main objectives. One of them, as I mentioned, was the, the e-health uh, uh, program or the e-health dimension. The remaining four, uh, one of them was about the adoption of the integrated comprehensive health care services, in which we are expecting that the patient uh, for chronic disease management or for other, I mean, things, we, we need this patient to be to have a continuum of care across all organizations. In uh, the business here in the kingdom, you know, our patient they visit one day the university hospital. Say, second day he might visit one of the MOH hospitals, and he, he might be uh, his son is a military, so he can go to military hospital. So, it, uh, how to improve sort of a continuum of care, and that will help us to reach into a level of collaboration. So each of our you know, organizations have concentrate on certain level of services or certain specialties. That continuum of care required to have the, the dimension of integrated comprehensive health care services. And that will have a lot of implication on what we, we should do in the e-health strategy to reach into adoption of these ideas, whether implementing of solutions or thinking of how these solutions will exchange data or will work in a collaboration. Second one is how to improve the services, uh, the quality of services. That, that's an, very important, you know, in very small hospitals in the rural area. At the same time, uh, from the quality point of view, and also it's important in the large hospitals within the main cities. Improving that, you know, as the quality people say, this, things that you cannot count it, you cannot measure it, 
you cannot improve it and you cannot change it. So we need to have uh, whatever solutions we will adopt, it needs to be, uh, uh, I mean, IT solutions. It needs to deal with the structured data in, uh, where you can deal with the information in a structured way so that you can measure what you are doing. And, and the nice thing, one of the sessions with uh, one of the assistants, we told him and briefly what main things you want to do. He said, I would like to to provide the health care. I would like to provide the patient information in all points of care. I want to measure what I am doing, and I want to transform the way I'm providing the health services. So it was almost the four key words that we placed there, which is care, connect, transform, and measure. So, uh, you know, you see sometimes uh, wisdom of some of the, you know, the leaders of the way that they are thinking or simplifying things. And it was really a key point in there. The, the, uh, the third is how we would like to attract, you know, or to, to qualify the people to work in such a systems. You know, that the main challenge, you know, in adopting all the electronic solutions or 65% of it are related to human factors, whether it's succeeded or, or the failure causes, sorry. And, and then we, we have a challenge now with these hospitals in the rural area. You know, we have the turnover of, of the employee in these rural hospitals is around uh, two years. So almost every, most of the employees, they, they leave their position almost within two years in this rural area. And that's a big challenge, you know, if you are changing these people frequently, how you are going to keep maintain training them and training again. And so the last is the health economic, what's called, which is one of the important uh, dimensions that most of the ministries they are looking for is in addition, you know, the ministry, you don't think sometimes of reducing the cost rather than thinking of how we optimize the service so we can serve more patients with, for example, similar resources and be more, uh, uh, and the same thing of how uh, can we have an opportunity to, to provide this as a service or have a sort of uh, a revenue for the ministry from some of the services that we are providing. For example, if we are providing, uh, for example, tele-radiology services, can we do uh, reading some of the studies for other facilities or vice versa, send some of the images to external facilities to, to do uh, the reading for us? Okay. So what, what we came at the end of this uh, initial analysis is we take almost the Ministry of Health vision and we uh, the emerge from that since we analyze the same thing, the e-health uh, vision. And the same thing, the main objectives, five objectives, we get the main five objectives of the of the e-health from that and then all the strategic initiatives and project. Uh, okay. So the, the vision of Ministry of Health you know, to provide an integrated comprehensive healthcare services, uh, uh, service delivery uh, model in accordance with the highest international level of quality. I will go just to the... I don't know, it is... Uh, it is a keyboard, maybe. So to, uh, in the e-health vision is to, to provide uh, a safe quality health system based on patient-centric care, guided by standard and enabled by e-health. We, uh, we will see the, 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 uh, the components of this uh, vision. Now, uh, we, the, uh, the committee was supervised, or the main steering committee to develop this strategy uh, was chaired by the minister, and it was membered by both assistant, plus the main you know, leaders and uh, deputies in the ministry. And uh, we, we, we have, uh, on that time, also a reviewer's uh, uh, the, the strategy development took around six, seven months almost, and we have almost three main meetings with the, the steering committee, and all the deliverables in all the phases was reviewed by our reviewers. We have five international reviewers. Each one of them was representing a different, you know, experience around the world. One of them is Trevor Hodges from the Canadian. He's responsible for the strategy over there. And Ed Percy, representing the United Kingdom, or oh, uh, um, you know, experience. Dave Garris is from Hims. He was the the the, the second man in Hims at that time, and also Professor Steve Wallstone is from the United States. He's a strategic in the health uh, section. Uh, Leonardo also Lerer. He's from France. 
our local also reviewers here, uh, uh, Dr. Khalid Ghanimi, who is at the time in, at Al Ilm, uh, and uh, Dr. Saad Al Qasabi, for sure you know him, He's, he used to be here in the uh, university, and Dr. Muhammad Al Qasim from the Ministry of uh, Communication, and uh, two uh, of the uh, CIOs of two of the, one of the medical cities, Khalid uh, Salama and Hamar Daj used to be King Faisal Specialist Hospital. Uh, uh, you know, reviewing whatever deliverables we have, you know, we have a lot of sessions that, as I will mention now, and a lot of the deliverables are having some sort of ideas or, or uh, um, yeah, analysis that they need to review and give us their opinion based on these different dimensions, you know, communication, uh, information, or policies, uh, locally or internationally, or from the strategic point of view. It took around six months, as I mentioned. We work into three main streams. The first stream was the strategy stream. Uh, this stream uh, composed of mm, uh, our colleagues from the, the, uh, from different departments. I mean, all the domains in the ministry. I mean, like uh, from the medical field, physicians, from the pharmacy, radiology, and uh, uh, for example, lab. Uh, as well as we have uh, representation from different locations in the kingdom and from different levels of services, like hospitals, primary health care, uh, regional health affairs, and ministry of health. Uh, they work initially just to 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 review, you know, um, the, the the requirements of the ministry, what what they need actually from in the business, and we review the strategy of Minister of Health itself in the business in the, from the business side, and we go over the benchmarking. Some countries, how do you solve these problems? How do you do in in each uh, dimension? Uh, um, the ideas of outsourcing some of the services, uh, some ideas of uh, implementing or doing centralized solutions, decentralized solutions, how they, uh, um, uh, how different, I mean, um, projects goes on uh, around the world. And then uh, in, the, in the last step, we go into the, what change management plan we need, how we would like to do the adoption uh, in, uh, at different levels, and then what's the support plan. The, the other two you know, uh, streams, they work, one of them is the technology stream and the governance stream. Technology stream composed of most of, uh, 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 I mean, all our uh, uh, colleagues from different IT departments, like network, um, uh, from, the, from the data center itself, from the infrastructure as a whole, and from the, those who are working in the development. Uh, uh, so all the technical, I mean, uh, uh, sub-departments. In the governance, we have uh, our colleagues from the ministry and from different levels related to the policies, information security. If we have any processes, uh, I mean, uh, people responsible for the pol processes, quality. So they were, uh, th these, are, these two streams, they initially start to analyze what do we have here in the kingdom, whether in the ministry or in other organizations that are um, uh, providing uh, health care services. And then afterward, we, we, we build up what, uh, what is the national infrastructure, for example, required to implement these solutions. What are the standards that are needed to, to reach into a level to be able to exchange data across different organizations? What is uh, the best approach uh, in having the, the, the frame of uh, the final vision? What things we need to build in the policy and in the standards? Um, and uh, finally, we build finally the, the roadmap for the so, as you mentioned, the strategy, the vision uh, emerged from the vision of Ministry of Health. And the five main as it, uh, objectives, we have the five main objectives uh, in the uh, e-health strategy. We will speak about it. Now, the point here that we, we, I mentioned legally is guided by standards. The, 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 the one in red color, it, it, it's, it mentioned all the standards that we are thinking, whether the standard that, that support the collaboration, clinical coding or reference terminology standard, or if it's messaging standard, even if you are going to do a communication across, you know, uh, different uh, telemedicine devices. If I have two video conference devices and they would like to do just a video conferencing linking. Sometimes if you have a different, you know, framework in some devices, it might give you some difficulties, you know. So we need to set up the, the standards that will support the collaboration uh, uh, of the uh, of, uh, of and collaboration and the and the sharing of information and also the other for example equity uh, of care 
which is part of the things that we need to measure how we are doing and then what is the output and then we can and that part of how we can define or unify the coding and uh, and reference technology standards.